Hi everyone, this is Shitesh Jugulani and welcome to the channel Kaizen. Today I'll be talking about a technique of self mastery. If you imply this technique properly, you will be able to achieve anything you set your mind to. This technique is called the art of goal setting and goal getting. This technique has a five step method to reach your desired objective. The first step is to form a clear vision of the objective or the aim you want to achieve. For example, if you want to be fit, then you have to envision yourself after waking up every morning being fit and a muscular person, lean as an athlete, full of vitality and energy and working out every day in the gym and busting your ass. Now every morning when I wake up, I meditate and envision myself lifting those weights and being aesthetic, powerful and strong. The clearer is this mental picture, the more effective the process is. The reason behind this is that our brain, our mind is the treasure house of power. Visualizing your goal and aim opens the gateway to realization of your desire. The second step is get some positive pressure on yourself. The main reason people don't follow any resolutions they make is that it is too easy to slip back into their old ways. Pressure is not always a bad thing. It can inspire you to achieve your goals. People generally achieve great things when their backs are up against the wall, when they are forced to tap into the potential that lies within them. Now how to create this positive pressure? One way is to tell everyone around you that you are going to obtain a certain objective or goal. For example, if you want to lose weight, then you are going to tell everyone around you that you are going to follow a certain diet. But this is not gonna help. When you tell everyone around you that you are going to uh, obtain a certain objective, there is immediately certain positive pressure on you to obtain that goal because nobody wants to look like a failure. But never disclose the plan of action. There's a difference between disclosing your goal and plan of action. The third step is a simple one. Never set a goal without attaching a timeline to it. When you attach a timeline to your goal, you suddenly breathe life into your goal. There is again some positive pressure on you to achieve that goal before the deadline. Without attaching a timeline to their goal, people tend to think that they have plenty of time to do it and they tend to procrastinate their goal. step is that a goal not committed to paper is no goal at all. The principle behind this is when you have written your goals down, you have brought it into existence. It is no longer a thought. 
it exists on that piece of paper or cardboard or whatever you have written it on and when you see that written goal you again visualize your goal and there is ultimately realization of that goal get to know about yourself by writing your goals down whoever you desire whatever you desire whatever you want to become write it down most people don't know about their, themselves because they never took out time to self evaluate themselves they never came to know about themselves what they want to become what are their weaknesses what are their strengths what are their hopes and desires step 5 is the magic rule of 21 according to this it takes 21 days to crystallize a new behavior into a habit you need to perform the same activity for 21 days in a row the neuroscience behind this is that when you repeat the same thing over and over again for 21 days at the same place at the same time new neural pathways are formed in your brain and in 21 days it is as easy as brushing your teeth every day in the morning this is the power of repetition try the new behavior at the same place at the same time every day for 21 days staying with it for 21 days will insert it into your routine for example a sports person taking the same meal every day at the same time for proper nutrition so let's go over the five step method once again first step is to envision your goal building up a clear image of your objective second is to get some positive pressure on yourself third is to set a timeline to your goal fourth is to write it down on a piece of paper or anything you want to write it down on to bring it into existence and finally the magic rule of 21 now i hope that this video was helpful to you if you want more information about your body then check out my some other videos subscribe if you haven't already share it with your family and friends and go out there and kick some ass all the world strength and power is within you this is my design Two, one. the third step is a simple one never set a goal without attaching a timeline to it yeah. <laughs>